Hello, friends. My name is Dr. Avril Watts. I am a GP in NHS Scotland, and I'm also a scientist by training. In today's video, let's talk about platelets, one of the blood cells, um, their abnormal counts, and what it means for cancer. Now, platelets, um, or technical term being thrombocytes, these are uh, red cells which do not have a nucleus, and they're derived from one of the bone marrow cells. They circulate uh, for seven to ten days before they are cleared uh, from the body. A normal platelet count, number of normal platelets, lie in the range of 150 to 450 into 10 to the power 9 per liter. Now, when, we, when the platelet count increases, we call, we, we call that condition as thrombocytosis. And that occurs when the platelet count goes greater than 450 into 10 to the power 9 per liter of blood. When the platelet count falls below 150 into 10 to the power 9, this, can, this situation is called thrombocytopenia. Now, there are many different reasons uh, which can cause raised platelet count, and they can be primary causes or secondary causes. So, secondary causes being that they are reactive to something else. But we have to remember that the primary causes of <clears throat> increased platelet count or primary thrombocytosis, that is, if there is uncontrolled production of the platelet cells um, in, the, in the bone marrow stem cells. And this can, this can affect the, 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 the progenitor cells, as we call them. And these, these diseases can be classified into, into different forms. For example, one is called polycythemia rubra vira. Um, which where all the cells uh, from the bone marrow, they, they can get, they, their numbers get increased. Then there is chronic myeloid leukemia. There is essential thrombocytemia. Uh, there is primary uh, myelofibrosis. And then there is unspecified myeloproliferative disorder. So these are, just to give you an idea, there are, these are four or five key conditions where the platelet counts are increased. And all of these need uh, quite an urgent uh, investigation and hence treatment. Now, there are also certain causes uh, which do not belong to these primary causes, but they're secondary, which means that they, they occur as a reaction to something in the body. And that stimulus can be an inflammatory stimulus, uh, which can cause the release of some inflammatory chemicals in the body. So this can be, as I mentioned, it can be chronic inflammation, which can cause it. Certain drugs can cause uh, raised platelet counts. A breakdown of red blood cells, hemolysis, that can cause an uh, increase in platelet counts. Iron deficiency. So sometimes uh, platelet count increases when there is iron deficiency anemia. Severe systemic infections, infections spread all over in, in your body can cause increased platelet counts. There are certain cancers which can also cause increased platelet counts, and I'll come to that in a second. Um, splenectomy, which is removal of your spleen for some reason, or if the spleen is not functioning properly, called the hyposplenism for some, uh, some uh, conditions that can cause increased platelet count. Surgery can cause it and also can, can massive bleeding or any other kind of trauma, big trauma can cause it. Why this is important is because thrombocytosis or increased platelet count can be a marker for potential cancer, including lung cancer, endometrial cancer, gastric cancer, esophageal cancer, the cancer of the, of the food pipe, or also colorectal con cancer, which is the, the, uh, the cancer of the last end of the intestines. The causes of reduced uh, platelet count, which is called thrombocytopenia, uh, they, are, they are quite diverse. They can be you know, different reasons. Uh, I, like Just to give you a broad example, they can be reduced production in the bone marrow uh, itself. So there can be some disorders in the bone marrow which can cause redu uh, reduction in the, in the production of platelets. There can be increased destruction of platelets in certain con conditions. And sometimes these platelets, they can get sequestered. They can kind of squeezed in, for example, uh, in, uh, in, in spleen or in certain conditions, they can get uh, increased sequestration of platelets, which can cause reduction in the number of um, uh, platelets. Thrombocytopenia or reduction in platelet count uh, can also be associated with um, cancers, including you know uh, systemic chemotherapy. Some of those chemical medications which are used to treat cancer, they can cause reduction in platelet numbers. Radiation can reduce the platelet numbers. 
Metastatic cancer can cause thrombocytopenia. This is important to, to, to remember that a cancer which has spread out can cause reduction in platelet counts. And of course, there are certain um, blood cancers, blood malignancies, which can cause reduction in uh, platelet counts. So one has to, as soon as you get a platelet count, which is not normal, so it does not lie between 150 and 450 into 10 to the power 9, there are certain steps which we should do. So if the platelet count, for example, is more than 1000 into 10 to the power 9, or even if it is between 600 and 1000, Immediate uh, review by the by the specialist is needed to 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 detect why is this number so high. So if the platelet count number is between 450 and 600 into 10 to the power 9 per liter, and there are no other clinical signs and symptoms that that should worry us, then we should repeat the blood test in four to six weeks time and then see if those have improved or if there are any new symptoms which have come up and then we can act accordingly. Now, if so, similarly on the other side of the spectrum, when the platelet count number goes uh, lower, which is called the thrombocytopenia, then what we should do? If the platelet count drops below 20 into 10 to the power 9 per liter, then and there is some active bleeding too, then immediately the patient uh, needs to be, to be um, admitted in the hospital and the specialist need to uh, have a look at it. If the count is between, let's say, uh, less than 50, and for people between 50 and 100, and there are some other clinical uh, issues with other clinical signs and symptoms, then also we should get reviewed by the specialist as soon as possible. Now, if the count is uh, less than 100 and there are no other uh, clinical signs and symptoms, then we can repeat the bloods in one to two weeks. So in this case, the repetition of bloods is in one to two weeks to check if there is any changes in the platelet count. So the take-home message from, from this video is that we should keep a close eye on platelet numbers because they are a good sign of potential malignancy too. Certain cases, we can repeat those tests and in some of them, we just need to act urgently within 24 to 48 hours. I hope this information has been um, helpful and you find it useful. If so, please feel free to share it, um, share it around. Stay well. Take care.